We're back in the body class. I'm standing on this tailgate, hatch, fifth door, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty rusty, but I think it'll come, come, come clean. Wipe it down with uh, rust marks. If you look, really close, you can see the pitting. You can see all that pitting there. It's not terrible, but I got to make sure all the rust is out of it. That's the worst, right there. primer of all that but I gotta make sure all the rust is down out of the bottom of it. Yep. Quit welding nails to my door. Getting busy. I gotta help today. He's not happy. So we got the 71 sedan door, 72 wagon, but the bottom of the door is completely rotten. It doesn't look that bad from here. You see it's starting to poke through. But on the back side, It's just gone. I'll have a better picture for you as soon as I get it off. But we're gonna go ahead and hang that sedan door on it. Get the damage pulled. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we'll remove this upper door frame, drill the spot welds and weld it into the sedan door at once it's all right. And there we have it. Got about three coats of polyurethane, four coats of polyurethane primer on the outside and two coats on the back side. And I got this door just sitting on there. Sanded this down. I still need to clean it up a bit so I can get the studs on there to pull the stent out. Yep. I am exhausted. Yeah, at least we accomplished something. I really should have put something down on the floor. I didn't even think about it take care of it next week all right that's it sand in the guide coat here and I did put the primer on a bit heavy just to make sure because there were so many little pits and here we got little bubbles that were in the filler this is where that bigger dent was and there was quite a bit in here I haven't sanded yet I know there's a slight high spot right here we'll see See, I still got to sand that. Sand this. Just working it over. Right now I'm sanding it with some 320. No, 220. I'll go over it with 320 next. Well, here I am in the class again. So counting tonight, there's three nights left before the end of fall. And then it starts back up again, I think, in January. Uh, 
I've been under the weather. I had, well, let's see. We all got a little bit sick. Chrissy ended up getting COVID, which Luke and I tested negative for. Then Luke got strep. I got strep. My tonsils swelled up so big. I was choking on food and drink and whatever. Had really high fever, delirious for a while, you know. Just weird things. So I got that taken care of and then I ended up getting gout and cellulitis in my feet. Couldn't walk. It's been a pretty crappy three weeks here. But back in class and I'm taking the wagon home with me tonight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the doors here. So I figure in the next couple nights I can get these doors switched over. So what I'm gonna do tonight just take advantage of the welder and get this done over here. So I'm getting these panels put in where I had to take them out in order to get to the frame rail. And of course they were pretty rusted out on the wagon as well, especially over on that side, right there. They are just a little different on the sedan and the wagon, or maybe it's between the 70, 71, and the 72. So 71, 72, 71, 72, I had to, there's this kind of dip here that I guess the 71 didn't have. But it's coming together. There's another piece that goes under it right here, so I need to find that. And, yeah, I mean, the welder I got works pretty well, but this is, you know, $5,000 welder, so I'll take advantage of it. It works great. Anyway, so I'm gonna go find this piece that goes here, and then I can tie it all together and tie it to the sides here. And this side will be pretty well done. I need to get this thing up in the air and weld underneath it before I call it finished. But yeah, so that'll be enough for this side, and that'll probably be all I get done tonight. Okay, so here is the rust damage to the bottom of the wagon doors. You can see there's just nothing here anymore holding it together. So that's why I had to go through all the hell of swapping everything over. I say hell because some of it was pretty easy, but some of it wasn't so easy. So drilling these spot wells out wasn't a big deal. However, some of them had just the tiniest little tack weld up here and back here, kind of holding the window frame in. Others, like the wagons, had a full-on bead and they just were hell to get cut. And I am pretty damn sure the wagons only got 30,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna save all this hardware because it's all in excellent condition. <clears throat> and probably put it in the, in the doors on the wagon. Yeah, so you can see here, kind of had to mangle it. And these, this is the uh, Phantom Mist sedan door frame. You see the roofing sealant. And then you can see 72 had a much bigger bead on it. So maybe it was just a year thing. I don't know. And so this door is put back together. Let me pull this strap off. You see the green and the gold. Had to be really careful here because even though this seal is in great shape at all, it's actually pretty bad, but it's better than nothing. I didn't want to burn it. Or break the glass. But so I need to hit this with that that belt sander. Clean it up a little bit. 
Not that it really matters too much because the original stuff wasn't very smooth or clean. Might need to get just a little finger of filler here just to kind of fill that stuff in. Start fixing that damage there. Got a pretty good high spot here. There's a crease, which is basically where uh, the curve of Grandpa's fender hit right here. I got it pretty damn flat. I just need to finish blocking this. But that'll probably be the thickest spot there, about an eighth of an inch. I didn't get very far on doing the body work. But this door is, for the most part, done. I don't want to just weld everything back together. I want to have it on the car. I want to have the door itself sitting right where it needs to be sitting. And then, you know, once it's set, you know, right there, then I can adjust the frame where I want it, tack weld it in position, and then go inside there and get those bolt holes, or, you know, the spot welds. So that's done. If a couple times I brought Luke with me, I just had him DA the body. I mean, busy work, so nothing super productive, but you know, I just got him doing something. So this door sitting over there, it's not welded together yet, but it's pretty well ready to go. I just need to get it, like I said, over there. I need to get it on, get it adjusted, and then tack it, weld it, done. Down here, I got this mostly done. I need to run a better bead around here because it's welded to this piece of metal which is barely tacked to the main piece of metal. So I need to run another bead on top of there and then one down here. And I'm just barely gonna hit it with the grinder. Just enough to get the really high spots out. You know, it looks real rough. I gotta do something with this corner here too. Well, that, then that's done. And then I get to start over on that side. But that side is gonna be a lot more work. I've been kind of on the fence whether I want to just run the drivetrain that's in it or whether I want to get or, or get the turbo engine in it. I want to get the turbo engine in it anyway, but I really want to run the Cricket drivetrain for a while because, you know, I don't really have anything else here with it except the Patina Cricket. The Patina Cricket's going to be sitting on the Celica, so... You know, you don't really need it. So. So as I said earlier in the video, I've been under the weather for a while. Between having strap, having gout, which I'm not over. I don't know, I've never had gout before, and I don't, you know, typically it's, it's stuff that you eat that triggers it. Alcohol, red meat shellfish i don't know stuff but i haven't changed my diet i'm eating what i've always ate i've never been a big drinker but you know i haven't increased or decreased actually if anything i've decreased so i don't know what it is the only thing i can think of is for a while there I, you know the gas station had fresh pineapple in these little cups you know so i get a couple of those cups and I'd eat them and I've never ever had an issue where like for some people it'll burn their mouths and I've never had that issue and then I did with that stuff but that's the only thing that's different and it's acidic it's very acidic so maybe that has something to do with it I don't know but it started in my right foot and then it was in both feet then it was in the knees, and now I'm having an issue with my left hip. It's like, come on. You know, I mean, it's making it real hard to get anything done. And then as you try to get motivated, you know, you get up and take five steps, and 
you know, it's like, nope, you know, so I don't know, I'm really trying to get back into getting busy and staying busy and pro producing something, getting something done, but it's hard. I will be taking the, the body class again, because, I mean, I don't know if it's worth it, but, you know, if I could take a body part down there and cherry it out like I did the the tailgate here, you know, get it all fixed and ready to go and in primer, boom, you know, so I can do all four doors, I can get the hood going, you know, I can do all that, and then start working on the rest of this body shell. They've got a better welder. I still haven't dialed mine in all the way yet. I need to play with it a little bit. They've got a better welder. Um, I can take advantage of that. They've got, they don't really have supplies. I have to take care of that myself, so it doesn't make a difference here or there. Uh, you know, they've got the huge, huge, huge air compressor down there, so they've got all the air tools that I can't run here. So I could take advantage of that, you know, DA and the big line file um, tool, air tool, all that little stuff, you know. So we'll see. But that's where we're at on this. If I can get up, <clears throat> get motivated, get busy. There's a whole bunch of little stuff that I could be doing here. I could tack weld the stuff. I can tack weld the stuff over here in this corner. I can drill these spot welds out and get this panel out where it's all rusty and put the orange one in. You know, I need to do something with this. I need to go pull the Volvo gas tank out of, out of my buddy's junkyard and make it fit this car. All kinds of stuff to do. I need to clean that mess. Like, all those body parts can go in the back room there. You know, they'll get wet, but can't really help that right now. I need to do something with the turbo engine because it's just sitting there rusting. <sighs> all this crap here. I need to take a load of scrap metal out of here. 